disruption onto the Ursa. This is looking like a potential first blood. That five-man rotation finds a kill. Oh, and it was the kill for the Death Prophet. This is huge for the Death Prophet versus Murano lane. Just so that he is alone in a 1v2, but perhaps now he's thinking, do I need to get that salve or not? But it's top lane where the next bit of engagement is going to break out. It's MMY. Looking for another kill in general. He's going to get disrupted at just the right time. Banana making the saves, but Artstyle there figures out the real one. Gets the oh, kill, then grave. gets the grave as well. Aggressive. He's going to keep getting hits traded with general. Finally, they end up getting the kill here. Artstyle completely out of mana. The Shadow Poison's going to start adding up now as well. Aggressive hits a pounce, and that'll be a second kill for LGD. Aggressive with seven right. procs of the Eshin shift. This is absolutely massive right now for LGD. Is the laning phase for them has completely gone their way, and Na'Vi, unfortunately for LGD so far, they just need more kills than they're getting right now. Top lane, they've gone in on Adstyle and the Dazzle. They get the Silence this time, so no Grave initially, but he'll get it. Level 1 Silence, not very long, and Disruption. Save the Disrupt yeah. this time. And uh, Aggressive, making sure he stays safe with the Shadow Dance. He's going to look for Suniko here. Needs to be careful. Beastmaster's got a roar, but General silenced up initially. Suniko, oh, he's hiding low in the, in the trees. That Shadow Poison missed. And now the roar is there, the roar oh, comes out, but it doesn't actually hit him. General, if they can get this kill, it may be okay. The roll will land. Aggressive going to come back in with the Dark Pack to help secure the kill. Not the outcome LGD were quite hoping for, but still an all right trade, all things considered. Dandy stunt silence. Dandy's caught out and brought down. Oh no, they were trying to just get too much with too little to use. Suniko was even hanging around, thinking he could help out on very low HP. I think once that Ravager's popped, you give up the kill onto General. That's going to happen. You can't really prevent that. And you're happy that you don't lose the Bounty Hunter. And that was the first Ravager. Like you say, giving up kills unnecessarily. So LGD getting a bit more, perhaps, than they should have. LG recognizing this. I'm going to amount some pressure on mid, but it's the Blink of Dicharra catching. Death Prophet by surprise, I can only imagine. Maybe, though, heals up initially the Spirit Siphon's there, but DJ Rock gets off just enough damage before getting stunned to bring down Death Prophet. He's got the blink back up. He's not done. He wants Banana. This is track as well. DJ Rock getting his team a couple of kills. There's another track. Dendi has the Star Storm. This will be a close kill. Can he get it? Hits the stun. No roll for eight seconds. Dendi's still chasing, but the slow from the gush. Under Could look for an arrow, but it's unlikely to land. Deja Rai instead gets it. The Bounding Sing Shrukum was there to secure it as well if needed. And Zhao Wei being chased down. Na'Vi! This is more like the Na'Vi you expect. Diving towers, finding kills, but... Have they just topped the blink? Blink up. He hit that and got a Spirit Siphon. Could have been a different story, but too much movement speed with the phase and Windlace. The casual Windlace definitely paying off there for Deja Rai. Very well done, though, by Na'Vi overall. Ramping up the aggression that you really want to get utility out of that is bottom. DRR just solo kills aggressive. Not what he expected is he didn't have that ultimate. And LGD are just getting sloppy as we're at top. One by one. It won't be a track kill as he crackens it off, but it's a kill nonetheless. And that was that was the two minute downtime between Ravages. Mm -hmm. Then Navi just get aggressive all over like they did. And they're playing based off the cooldowns, which I think is incredibly smart. So now, LGD, if they want to play with the cooldowns, it's going to come down to grouping up around this Ravage Exorcism. But you can't group up when you're losing heroes one by one. This is... Shadow Demon again caught out. It's rare nowadays to see individual pickoffs, and as we say that, Dendi... ...gonna get caught. And that's twice now where he's just been isolated from the rest of his team, being a little bit too greedy. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Overall, though, for Na'Vi, it hasn't been too costly yet. Kind of has prevented the lead from getting as big as it could be. Na'Vi is showing that they're pushing mid, but really it looks like they want to defend bottom. Okay, never mind. A cancel TP from Art Style. Exorcism committed by Maybe. In the neighborhood is General with a roar. Can he get Maybe with this? Doesn't look like it. Here comes the TP in. Dichara, he doesn't need the roar. He's going to annihilate the Death Prophet. And there's no punish from LGD. Already Na'Vi have gotten out of that middle lane where they were a little bit vulnerable. They're going to take this bottom so far. Roshan is up now. That's probably going to be the next objective for LGD to fight over is they do have that Ravage available. Xiao Eight has wisely decided to hold on to it, knowing that bigger fish to fry. Okay. This well, might actually he's alone. His life, though. Yeah, that's not the trade you want. 
Dichara will give away a 922 gold streak that... to the slot. That is... Ooh. Yep. They were prepping for Roche, too. If LGD... Oh, arrow the lands. cooldown, you know. I think that's going to prompt Navi to just go in and Xiao Wei. watch. That catches out four. Really nice play coming out from Xiao Wei. The X is being used. Maybe needs to be bursted down by Navi. The four stuff is there from Xiao Wei. The Yules as well still doing damage. Can they finish off? Maybe just barely. As Navi have lost to Nico as well as their Aegis. Ursa not done. He's still trying to claw, claw his way through heroes. Dendi TP out. The Boulder Smash will cancel it. A good fight for LGD around their ultimates. They take two kills and an Aegis. And only lose Death Prophet. It's a bit of a big loss for them, but they'll take that. Now we enter that phase, though. No ultis. Navi, they want to keep fighting. They know there's no Ravage, no Exorcism. They should just go for this right now. Without Exorcism or Ravage, I think... If you notice already, LGD starting to split up. Well, they've timed this. If they're still going to try and fight, Dichara wants in. He BKBs. Maybe he's the target. Oh, he doesn't he have gets a target. Purged. He's being slowed down. He's being kited even in the BKB. Zhao, wait. He's got the four stuff. Dichara. Oh, he's in no, trouble. That BKB is, is about Navi to wear off. Dichara gets stunned. The Ravage prevents Artstyle coming in with the grave. The Boulder Smash not out, out just yet. It's going to be Magnetize coming through. Artstyle didn't actually get clipped by it. Boulder smash down, Ursa dead, Arsal dead as well. Navi want to re-engage, Sonico. What are you doing on the sides there? Be careful, my friend. The TP out, the dust is there. They get the disruption. And it's going to be a three for nil oh, LGD no. victory. Navi had such a huge window of opportunity to go. They had almost two minutes on all those cooldowns. And they waited for maybe the worst possible time as LGD. Oh. They take that fight. They're like, okay, you guys are actually going to dive Dyer's by our tier two when we have... Not bad, not bad. All right, so Dyer's LGD, they want to secure a fight before they go for the Roshan and oh. for maybe the fourth time this game, they find art style by himself. Yep. He's got a TP, but he can't do that now with the Grave wearing off. Aggressive will finish off the Dazzle, maybe goes in. He almost gets brought down by the Ursa, but the Yules is there. Boulder's Mass Disruption as well. Dichara being kited around. He has the clap and the... Oh, gets him with the Overpower. Zhao Wei now on the run. Has a Ravage. May not want to use it, though. Will do so. Where's Aggressive? They need the damage from the Slark. Instead, they're going to opt to run. It's a very defensive Ravage. And with the track on Zhao Wei, he's going to be chased down, brought down. Slark dead on the sidelines. He got picked off elsewhere, and now they're going to get a fourth. MMY. He's taken out as track kills mount up. Slark was he, outside of the fight. Did so I watched that fight. So he he chased heroes in. He popped his he got his Lincoln's pop by the track. Then General just blew him up oh. with the roar plus the Necrobook combo. And you have to wonder why he decided he was going to go so far away from the rest of his team. He felt like defenders. Remember that's what we're known for. Yeah. Aggressive. Come on. What what team are you on now? This isn't CDEC. Fame Great Wall. We don't do none of that crazy stuff. Just hold with buybacks. That's always been the yep. principle. Yep. In the oh. East is... Uh, the is hit and here comes the initiation. Yep. They get the initial bash on Shadow Demon. Take out the disruption save. Ravage used purely defensively and I don't think Na'Vi are going to care too much about that. They're going to lose one in the Beastmaster thanks to aggressive and maybe. Exorcism still up but Tide has been taken out. Dichara getting a triple kill and it's Dendi getting the fourth with a well-placed arrow. Na'Vi looking like they may be able to break through the LGD high ground here. Just two heroes to defend it. It is the two big cores in aggressive and maybe. There's still that Aegis available on the Ursa and the Cheese left to go. Navi just going to start pummeling. Dichirai, he's graved up. That'll buy him some time. And the Diffusal takes out the Ghost Scepter aggressive. It could be a buyback if he's not careful. Dicha not going to chase any further. Objective gaming. What is happening soon? Problem is, this Ursa, he's got another life. He's still got the Aegis. The Grave will buy him some extra time to do some more damage on this life. He'll finally pop. Now LGD need to do something to him. Dendi pops the cheese. He's looking for aggressive. One more, two more right clicks. He's not going to get it. The Greaves will save his life. The Shadow Demon Disruption there to help him as well. That could have been game over if you get the Slark there, I feel. Still looking very grim as Slark will TP back in. Who's he looking for? It's a long TP. MMY will roll himself in, and Dicha just gonna turn and fight Artstyle. He mans up with a blade now, doing some return damage here. Aggressive, taking hefty damage. Dendi blinks full, but doesn't have the detection himself. Zhao Wei tracked up. Back to the well he goes, as Aggressive once again ready to fight. Maybe needs an Exum, he doesn't have it. Here's General, refreshed his raw earlier, and he's gonna get the kill instantly dead on Respawn. 
means buyback is needed as aggressive skirts around the edge of the fight. He just can't find the kills. Na'Vi with too much sustain. Finally, they'll get Dicho as well as Dendi, but damage has been done to the LGD base. Melee Rax claimed. And yes, you've lost your two carries if you're Na'Vi. Maybe even a third core, but it was LGD losing Rax and more oh, importantly, general. buying back. Almost able to juke that out, but LGD knows he had nowhere to go. <sighs> but still, like you said, three racks down, including a melee. Two, three buybacks. Sucked some time ago, but Death Prophet and Earth Spirit using it just then. That's all. Bought back and got off and respawning in. You know, for the second fight, she still has that buyback cooldown. Not going to be able to do too much. Same with Aggressive, and more importantly, like you said, no Tide Ravage. Exorcism was used in vain. That was one of those team fights that would have looked very different from the dire perspective because all those heroes were invis and there was no gem, no detection. They had when sentries. They just, for some reason, hesitated for so long. Now they finally place that sentry, as you see, but it comes at the end of the team fight. Yeah. If you could have had that from the get-go, Navi were so clumped up. It's so hard to take those fights when heroes are going in and out of invis. It's that Ricky-like effect where they're just like kiting you around by being invis. All five heroes. There's no way to team fight. <laughs> Any other Dazzle player? The Bone 7 of support. Yeah. <laughs> Arcel's gonna pop that blade mail. Oh, they do go on him, but then the roll comes out aggressive. He's BKB. They can't protect him. Slark dead for 100. The Ravage will finish off Arcel. Dijarak could be in some trouble here. Maybe he's got double ultimate if he needs it. The first one, for now, getting them a couple of kills. Stun will catch up Suniko and Na'Vi have been slowed down at this point. They've got to deal with their base though. Is yeah. GD, then Na'Vi, they don't have the best way to take these racks like you said. It's an insta buyback from Tide. I think recognizing he needs to be alive just to keep these lanes pushed out. Having Slark and Tide dead. Dust Dream link in with the raw aggressive caught out by this one with the broken link. It's there's the Ravage. Catches Dichara without a BKB, but he's got the age. He's aggressive on the front line, Shadow Dancing to heal himself Our back up. Pops. He's still fighting. The Blade Mail is there. Arcel so tanky, so much armor on this Dazzle. That was plus 41, but before he finally went down, maybe on the Death Prophet, the Exism doing some good work. They've lost a range track, but that's still just a range track. Aggressive needs to survive. The full stuff oh, is there. General just going for the oh, throne. Oh no, not the throne. Dichara may go for the throne as well. General will zone him out. No Glyph available. It looks like this could be it. No control, Dichara wants it, he'll get it. LGD, bested in game one. Navi finally figured out, hey, Ursa Murano, they don't push buildings, we've got, we've got General, he can do it. Dendi and General just kind of ignored it.